Greetings, beloved. Good evening. Welcome to Friday Sit Down. It is such a joy and a blessing to be in your home again. Thank you for welcoming us as higher grace in your home. And let us be together in the presence of the Lord to enjoy the fellowship and divide the word of God. Today, I am not alone. I am with Sister Laura Lorraine who is here joining us. Good evening, beloved. How are you? Good evening, Pastor. I'm okay, thanks. And how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Right, thank you. Let's open with a prayer. And then after opening with prayer, we'll share the word of God as she's going to share and introduce herself formally unto us. Amen. Amen. Come, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening. We bless you. We give you honor, praise, and the glory. Thank you for this time to be in your presence, O oh God. Thank you that we can still open the word of God and eat out of it, O oh God. Thank you that there is no scarcity of the word as yet, my Father. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to eat out of your table. We pray this evening. As Sister Lorraine shares the word for us, O oh God, that you will bless him, cover her, and protect her, seal her in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare the blood of Jesus across all the airways, O oh God. Let everyone under the sound of our voices be blessed, be encouraged. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 So for the benefit of the viewers, uh, because not all of them are here at Higher Grace, Please introduce yourself. Tell them who you are, which department are you leading, because we have different departments in the church, so that they know exactly who am I talking to tonight. Amen. Uh, thank you, Pastor Dineo, for this uh, invite. Um, thank you to the leadership of the church for trusting me to come and share today. I am Sister Lorraine. I am the daughter of the house. Um, I am part of the intercessory team of the house. And I am also a leader of the young adult, single and serving. Amen. Single and serving. Single and serving, Pastor Dino. There is no better way to do it but to serve. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. So today you'll be the one who's sharing the word of God with us. Can you please uh, share the devotion? Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Today, I would just love to bring a little reminder from the book of Psalm 139, talking about the all-knowing God, that how often do we forget who we are? How often do we forget who God is? How often do we forget whose are we? David got to a point in Psalm 139 to, re to say unto God, search me thoroughly. You have searched me thoroughly and you have known me. You know my down sitting and my uprising. You understand my thought afar off. Amen. Amen. More did you know God is all knowing. Mm -hmm. And most often we tend to take matters in our hands, forgetting whose we are. Amen. The Bible from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 10, it says, We are God's workmanship. Amen. We are his masterpiece. We are his craft. One day, Pastor Dino was preaching and she was talking about a user manual. Amen. We are gods and he has created us. There is nothing of us that God does not know anything about. Amen. Most often when we go through, the going through. We take matters into our hands. But David came to a point of understanding that before he can even utter a single word from his mouth, God has already known Amen. Whatever that we go through in our lives does not take God by surprise. Mm -hmm. And the best is to go back to the craftsman mm -hmm. and say, you have designed me. You know, I, I, I received this medical report, but I am yours. Can Amen. you interpret it better? Amen. I have been sitting in this one particular position, hoping for a promotion and I am not getting it. What is the GPS of my promotion? How far are you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today I would just love to remember that Mudimu is all knowing. Amen. From the book of Isaiah chapter 45, he says, I am your God and there is none. I have mm -hmm. get you and I have searched you before you can even know me. God knew us before we know him. Before now, we the best way, before we were even formed, Amen. 
that the David says, even when I run, I try to hide under the rock. You are there. Amen. If I go to heaven, you are there. Amen. I would just love to encourage us saints to say, there is nothing in our lives that is taking God by surprise. Amen. He is an all-knowing God. He is a craftsman. He is the interpreter of our lives. He has it all together. Amen. Have you been in a situation where you are trying to put together something without a user manual? It's a mess. It is a mess. It breaks. It breaks. <laughs> it gets, it, it, it continually fall. Yeah. But with God, you come before him and you say, Father, I, I do not know. I, I do not know. And the best way for me is to come before you because you are God, because you are my father. Amen. Amen. David got to a point when we are reading further in Psalm 139 to say, search me. Amen. You know every single minute detail about me. Amen. I, I, I even surprise myself at certain times because certain things that are being unfolded about myself, I do not know. Amen. But I got to go back. Amen. I want us to go back in the struggle you might be going through. In the success you might be going through. Amen. In the illness you might be going through. He says, I am the great healer. Amen. I shall heal you. Amen. I shall strengthen you. In the time of weakness, he is the user manual for every single encounter in our life. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God. Amen. From the book of Deuteronomy Murudi, here he goes before us. Amen. Mm -hmm. We ought not to fear for he has known us. Amen. He has predestined us. Amen. He has defined matters for us before they can even come unto us. Mm -hmm. David says, oh God, such knowledge of you. Amen. It is far beyond my own comprehension. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Let us just be reminded today, Hore, we are never alone. Amen. A woman, Haga, one day they pack for her. Just a packet of food, Murud. Yeah. A packet of food mm. and a bottle of water. Yeah. And she is sent off mm. with her son. Yeah. Little did she know, there she goes she, in misery, in yeah. hurt. She mm. is wondering. She finds herself in a place where the packet gets finished. Yeah. Where the bottle of water gets finished. Amen. And she put the child behind the bush yeah. because she thought my child was going to perish. Mm. But little did she know that he who has foreknown her was there. And he says, woman arise and look in front of you. He opened her eyes and she saw a well. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. God knows. She's a, he's a God who sees. He's a God who sees. Amen. He's a God GPS. Amen. He says to Elijah one day from the book of First King, arise and go to a certain place and journey and camp by the brook. Amen. And I shall send the raven to feed you. Amen. There is never a hopeless situation with God. Amen. He is all knowing. Amen. When you feel hopeless, come to him and say you are all knowing. Amen. When you are receiving the medical report that says this is terminal sickness, you say no. No, 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 no. You didn't design me. I was designed by a God who is able to eradicate and to change my medical report. Amen. Amen. He is an all-knowing God, Murud. Amen. Uri, Amen. I, I, I have seen him so much oftenly in my very life when I have also in some other instance received a report that was unpleasant. Amen. And I, I went and I said, you got a better perspective about me. Amen. You Amen. got a better report about me. Amen. 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 So I would just love us to be encouraged to say in every single thing when you wake up and say, unfold this day unto me. Let me be aligned with your will and your knowledge of me for this day. Amen. 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 But I think that the most important um, thing, Esther Lauren, is to know him. Is to know him. Because if you don't know him, how would you know that he is the one who knows everything? You wouldn't. So it's important as well, beloved, that you have a personal relationship with, with God. God. Amen. So that you are able to go back to him when you feel like there's a default setting in whatever product that you are handling yes. in your life. Yes. Other than that, you will keep on taking your product to mm. the wrong mechanic. Amen. If you are a BM driver, mm. if it's having a problem, you cannot take the, it to Toyota. You cannot. You have to take it to, to the BM. manufacturer. Yes. Amen. 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 Mm. I agree with you completely, Moruti. It's a, it starts with knowing him. Amen. If you do not know him, you wouldn't know the kind of report he has about you. You're Amen. going to believe report of any other one because you do Amen. not know who is your maker. Amen. We are the workmanship. Amen. We are his. And he is mm. a right diagnoster. You know? He is. <laughs> one, thing he that is. I, one thing that I've seen with, with cars, if it's having a problem, they'll say, we first have to start with diagnostic. 
Amen. You know, Amen. and the diagnostic will tell them exactly where is the problem. Amen. So today as well, whatever that you might be going through, please take yourself to the diagnostic system who Amen. is Jesus Amen. so that he can go back to showing you that yes. he is the creator yes. of all things. Hallelujah. Amen. Indeed, he has foreknown us. Amen. He knows every single word before we can even utter it out. Amen. When we were being knitted in the secret place in our mother's womb, he was right there. Amen. Amen. Oh, he's an all-knowing God. He's you can only know him. that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You can only know that if you know him. Amen. So we see to know him so that we can know ourselves better. Amen. Amen. Our knowledge of ourselves is in knowing him. Amen. Because our whole the whole thing about ourselves is in him. Amen. Amen. It's in him. That's why the word says in him we live, we, we move and, and we, we have, have our, our being. being. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Muruti. Thank you for being with us. Hello. Beloved, I believe you have been blessed by the word of God that has been shared by our beloved sister. Thank you. You are really a blessing into the kingdom of God. You are a blessing to higher grace as a whole. Amen. Thank May the Lord Lord bless you indeed and do you well. Amen. Always remember, there is nothing beyond God. Just go back to the creator of all things so that he can set you and know your heart and fix whatever that needs to be fixed. And always remember, for as long as we are living, there is hope because Christ in us is the hope of glory. May the Lord bless you. Sister Lorraine cannot run away from praying for us. She tried to run away when we were opening. So she was definitely going to close in prayer for us as the Lord bless you. I will see you again next week. Thank you for opening your homes for higher grace. God bless you. Please close in prayer for Amen. us. Amen. Wonderful Father, in the name of Jesus, Daddy, we thank you because you speak. Thank we you, thank you, Holy God, for you have reminded us that we are your workmanship. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Wonderful Father, because you carry the manual of our life. Thank it you, does Jesus. not matter what the media say. It does not matter what the doctor says. Yes, it does Lord. not matter what the surroundings say. Because the great report that we have and the great perspective that matters is your perspective yes, about Lord. our lives. Father, we thank you, dear Heavenly Father, as you are reaching Maranamudumaka to all the families, dear Heavenly Father, who are watching this. Maranamudumaka, may you enter and be a reminder that you are the all-knowing God yes, and that there is nothing too hard for you, that there is nothing impossible for you, that there is nothing that you do not know. Father, we yes, thank you, Lord. dear Heavenly Father. May you bless Maranamudumaka. May you be, dear Heavenly Father, the answer and the solution. May you be the reminder, dear Heavenly Father, that great, oh wonderful Father, and wondrous at your work. Yes, you Lord. are mighty, you are God, and we thank and adore you, Holy Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.